It's Thursday, February 7th, 2008. I'm James Kotecki, and this is Playbook TV. Conservatives rejoice. You may not be happy with any of the presidential candidates, but today you can gripe about it with your friends at the Conservative Political Action Conference, or CPAC. It's a magical meeting of the minds where taxes are always too high and Viva La Reagan Revolution t-shirts are always in style. Or at least they would be if everybody weren't wearing suits. As CNN reports, the big story is the attendance of John McCain, the Republican presidential frontrunner who skipped last year's event. He'll be trying to convince the audience that he is the best conservative. The other three Republican candidates will be flexing their Reagan-era muscles as well. McCain's reception at the event will illustrate whether conservatives are really willing to accept a Big Mac attack or if they'll turn instead to Huckaburgers or Mitwitches. Next, Politico's Gene Cummings and Ben Smith report on the Democratic money race. Barack Obama is on track to raise $30 million in the month of February after raising $32 million in January. Meanwhile, Hillary Clinton has loaned her campaign $5 million. She said the Super Tuesday results prove the wisdom of her investment. Obama's campaign countered on their website that they had raised over $6 million just since the polls closed on Tuesday. Since only 3% of Obama's donors have given them a maximum amount, Obama can make like the Cosby kids and keep asking for money again and again. Clinton has raised over half of her money from donors who already have given the maximum amount, but her willingness to spend her own money does give donors a backdoor way to contribute. Buy her books, such as Living History, It Takes a Village, and Dear Socks, Dear Buddy, Kids' Letters to the First Pets. Finally, Clinton will continue to use her daughter Chelsea out on the campaign trail. The former first daughter proved effective in Super Tuesday, including in California, where Clinton won the youth vote. Now Chelsea's taking that youthful vitality to Nebraska, where the Democrats are holding a caucus on Saturday. Barack Obama will also be in the state, setting up a kind of ultimate hipster showdown for youth appealitude. So who is really cooler? Is it the Oxford-educated consultant or the Harvard-educated lawyer? It's now up to Nebraska, internationally known for being the most fly state in America, to decide. Well, that's it for today's hit. Check out politico.com slash playbook for more stories, including why McCain skipped the vote on the economic stimulus package. And don't worry, I'll try to come up with a name for a Ron Paul sandwich. But if you have a good suggestion, please send your ideas to me right here on Playbook TV.